beautiful Wednesday morning guys and today is also a week from now where I'm starting the skate park as the scooter day so I need to go and make a little information video about that um, but Paula just went to a lawnmower place and we got a new blade and we're quite surprised about the price this is an original part this is not a copy part this is not a real brand name um, but it was cheaper than most places we've seen online and um, that's a lovely thing to find out that here in Denmark we can actually find something for a reasonable price and not being skinned off every single time. I'm still waiting to try and get in contact with that guy who got the unit I wanted for my office. Um, I'm sending a text message but he hasn't replied yet. Uh, hopefully this guy will reply to me because I think while we're up here wouldn't it be silly going back if the guy is home. We'll go for a little jaw ride. Enjoy the sunshine in the drive. I need to go home and put this blade on um, so I need to be take full aware of how I take off the old one and put the new one on. Yeah, blade. All right, time for me to cut the lawn. I just changed the blade on the lawnmower. It took a bit of time because the bolt was so tight, um, but it has to be so the blade don't come off. And also I got some weed killer from my dad, which I can use underneath the decking there and underneath the trampoline. So um, let me put some music in my ears and go down and cut the massive, great big lawn. I'm going to take my shirt off so I can get a bit of sun. Um, yeah. Put my sunglasses on and some music in my ears. There we go. Whew, that was that. Most of the garden cut. I need to sweep all this here. This little madam, she's making such a mess. It's basically her because you got sticks and chews them up here. <sighs> you little minx. It's very warm today. and There's hardly any wind in here where I am. So, I'm cooking right now. You guys see I'm sweaty on my forehead. I want to go and have a cold drink now. I'm going to have some water. And sit down for half an hour. And relax and not really do any more. Now just to do this front, I'll do that a little bit later when it cools down. And I also need to spray. we got some weed killer. And um, to remove dandelions. Yeah. Alright, but uh, I'll catch you a little bit later. So someone is very busy for or tired from a long day and I haven't finished clearing up yet. Um well kinda <sighs> I haven't got that unit yet which I wanted for over there, but um I spoke with a guy, I wrote to him on text message and we can come and pick it up after four o'clock basically every day. Uh, but he lives quite a bit away. And uh, the unit is quite good size, but it's going to go right over to where the window is. So it's going to go just to the edge of where the door is, which is a little bit too big compared to what I wanted. But um, hey, I can't win every single time. So um, if I don't find anything else nearby very soon, I'm going to go with that one then. I feel a bit tired, so I've got the garden and all that. <sighs> and we also took the little madam out. Oh, yawn. Whoa, got a tear coming down. Yeah, um, but I want to go have a shower and probably go off to bed a little bit earlier tonight. Ugh, I'm so tired. But yeah, it was nice getting the whole lawn sorted out and um, fixing the lawnmower again. It's going. It wasn't really that expensive, that blade. I thought it would be a lot more, so that's good. Finally, something cheaper in Denmark than we thought. Oh, right, right. What else? What else? Oh, I have a plan of building um, another plane, and you probably say, why do you keep building planes? Because you've got one there, one there, and one up there. <sighs> and one, one down the workshop or something like that. Four planes I've built from flight tests, and none of them have been in the air yet. I think the only one I've been flying was my glider, and that broke. So I need to build a new one of those. I want to build another flight test plane, and that's going to be um, uh, a Spitfire, but uh, it's going to be a 200% one, which means it's going to be double the size of normal, so the wingspan is going to be about 2 meters or something, and it looks really, really cool, and I thought, like, wow, I want to try and build a large plane, because um, I don't have anyone that size now. I have a glider which got a 2 meter wingspan, and the um, the other glider I built was about a meter and 80. Oh, gosh! Why well, I'm so tired. So getting to build something which is really really large would be fun and it would be nice to have um, um, a, a Spitfire because it's an awesome plane. It really is a nice warbird and yeah. 
Um, some someone asked me if I could film that I was building it um, or building some flight test planes. I probably could, but it would be silly for me to do that when you can go to flight test and see how you build everything more detailed than what I do. Um, so if you don't know that, go and check out flight test on uh, YouTube. They're really really awesome if you want to get into the RC hobby of flying. And they're not they're not only doing planes; they also do quadcopters, uh, tricopters, like multi rotors, and um, they don't do that much in normal helicopters, single rotors. Um, don't really know why. Uh, there have been a few episodes with something in it, but not that much. Mostly it's just plane and multi rotors. Um, maybe in the future they'll come with some more helicopter. We never know. Yeah, right. Time for me to go and have a little shower, and I might see you after. And up here, I have um, four fresh, brand new um, Chrome Deluxe Condamas, which I'm supposed to paint. Uh, when I will do that, I don't really know. Then I have, um, these are not for me, these four here, these are for the crumb guys, and I'm gonna paint them. This here is from the 